welcome guys um, to creative effects uh, remember last time we once spoke uh, on the topic about uh, land and patterns so i didn't quite show you the examples of those land and patterns uh, so i just thought maybe this might be a good opportunity for me to show you the land and patterns so uh, this is nzt usd the chart that i've opened here uh, for New Zealand against the US dollar. Um, as you can see, uh, here is our Asian box right here. Like I always tell people that at MMM we have got, we actually have got a template that divides the sessions. So this is the Asian box. So the activity that happens right here is on the London session. This right here is our session changeover box. This right here, also our session changeover box. Then this box right here is actually our New York uh, session box. All right. But I only um, selected the hour, hours, a few hours. You can see these hours right here. They're actually just some activity. But my New York is supposed to end somewhere there, whereby the, the Asian will have to then uh, do from here going forward. So this uh, is a type one of a London pattern. Why? Because all this activity is happening inside the Asian session. So we are saying it's a type one because the dealer broke the high of the Asian box. The dealer broke the high of the Asian box right here. So you can see it broke the high of the Asian box right there. And then it gave you a setup on top right there. It gave you a setup on top right there. So it broke the high of the Asian box. So that becomes your type one uh, your type one of, of a London pattern. And in terms of entries, this sharp thing represented your level one. These MPL bounces here were actually representing leg two, leg three. So this is leg one, sharp thing, leg two, leg three. Then our leg four right here was actually the last bounce. So this is where we're supposed to enter or there or there, whichever way. So we could have entered right here, we could have entered there, we could have entered right there. and go down until close there or close there, um, depending on how you actually uh, know your, your exit rules, okay? Then without how you actually know your exit rules. And I always advise people that if you are trading, always aim for confirmation candles. You can see right here, this for me doesn't look like a valid uh, confirmation candle, though some they call it can help me. I don't know what they call it, but I wouldn't uh, base on this, but maybe I could base on that, and I could base on that, I could base on that, and I could base on that. These are clear combination candles for me. I normally don't take uh, trades without seeing a proper combination candles. So this is what happened uh, last week on Friday, and GPP NZD, GPP NZD actually gave us a type three of the setup. Normally, I always advise people that only trade type two and type one. Don't trade type three. So the London patterns, there's a video that talks about them. They say type one, you can actually break the high of the Asian box or you can actually break the low of the Asian box. The type two, we are saying it maintains the high of the Asian box or maintains the low of the Asian box. The type three, we are saying it respects the high or it respects the law, it doesn't even touch it. So it happens normally on the middle of the Asian box, on the middle of the Asian box. So you can see right here, this was a type three of an Asian. So this is considered our M uh, formation. You can see right here at middle, at open market open uh, price, the white line that's crossing here is actually the market open price, where the price opened uh, beginning of the market. So that's where my setup actually took place and we didn't even get a chance to get on this pain, unless if you trust your instincts. Um, there was also Euro USD. Um, Euro USD, the previous, the pre the actual Euro USD has been giving us type three setups, but this is the type two, right? Because it actually uh, maintained the high of the Asian box. This is a type three. You can see it for yourself, it's a type three. It happens in the middle of the Asian box. So it is a type three uh, setup. 
that's what happened last week. Then this one right here actually appeared as a type one. This one appeared as a type one, but unfortunately, um, this was more or less of a consolidation. This was more or less of a consolidation, though you could have grabbed a few pips. Let's see how many pips that is from the 200 AMA today. That was about uh, 45 pips, uh, 45 pips. Now, some of these things, they depend with the lot size that you will be working on. Some people, uh, maybe you'll be using a very small lot size, so you end up thinking it's, it's not really much, so you will be forced to hold, all right. This is our Asian box again. You can see for yourself, the dealer gave us a stop hunt. Stop hunt, push one, push two, push three of the stop hunt. There is our W at yesterday's low. Yesterday's low right there. You can see yesterday's low. And what did the dealer do? This is a type one of the London pattern. And we could have taken it at the close of, this is a cow uh, confirmation candle right here. The cow confirmation candle, this one right there. This is a railroad right there. So you could have taken it here, or you could have taken it a bit close above 18 EMA, and then you go up uh, with, with the pay. And then you go up with the pay. This was um, Chief JPY. I actually traded this pay the previous day on this day. And actually, I didn't trade it the previous day. I traded it on this day right here. I took the buy right there, and I went up 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 until somewhere there so while i was still holding i realized that this pair was consolidating over and over and over again so it was consolidating over and over again doing that so i ended up saying ah no i'm gonna exit so i exited somewhere there i think i was around 60 bucks so i exited somewhere around there and i left it like that because it was consolidating over and over again, and yeah, my emotions couldn't allow, so I exited the pair. All right, and GPT JPY, GPT JPY, you can see for yourself this is a type one, this is our Asian box right here. This is a type two, you can see they actually uh, respect the high of the Asian, they actually maintain the high of the Asian. And then they drop all the way down. So that's what you could have taken uh, last week. So the whole point is, uh, if you know the market direction, it becomes easier to know what exactly you're looking for. If you know the market direction, it becomes easier to know what you're looking for. You can see right here, this was a type two of the setup, but it, it, and it almost appeared as a type three, but it was a type two of the setup right there. On the 200 EMA, what happened on USD chef? Uh, USD chef consolidated more or less for for two days. Yeah, sometimes those are one of the difficulties that you can face. Whereby you can actually enter a pair there. One minute you are in profit, the next minute you are making a loss. You are in profit, and then the market ends like that. So normally such pairs uh, or such positions, I scrape them out and wait for the next day. Look at what happened the next day. The same thing happened. You are in profit, you are in a loss, you are in profit, you are in a loss, you are in profit. So I stretch out that uh, position immediately when it gets into weekly profit. All right. So normally what I do is, even if I see thousand opportunities on so many, uh, on so many pairs, I only choose to trade uh, one pair, which is more clear to me. That's the one that I choose to trade. You can see right here, this was a type two of the London pattern. Type two of the London pattern, and the dealer went up. I'm saying a type two because it actually maintained the low of the Asian session, and the dealer went up. And I remember people were selling, uh, they were actually buying Euro, Euro, Euro GPP that was on Friday. And that Euro GPP on Friday, it actually gave us a type three of the setup. Get that Asian low there, type three of the setup, and it went. Uh, high, that we the setup and it went high. All right, so these London patterns, they appear um, all the time. They appear all the time, every day. The only thing that you need to do is to see them, is to see them or anticipate them. So if you check my previous video, you're gonna know uh, ways in which you can actually anticipate these 
land and patents. Ways in Michigan and displayed these land and patents. This is type one. You can see for yourself. The type one, the 22 pattern there, but it is to the law, right? Type one, this is your Asian session right there. So it broke the, the law of, of the Asian session and closed down there. So that was a type one of your Asian uh, session. So that's basically um, it, that's basically it. So in general, that's what we do on land and patents. That's what we generally do on land and patents when we are treating um, land and patents. So I guess uh, it's clear and it's understanding. So the whole point is wait for, uh, choose one pay and then wait for the patent to appear Look at the confirmation candles and all of the entry rules. So on our next video, we're going to talk about uh, entry rules. For now, I was just showing you what was happening uh, the previous um, the previous uh, day on, on Friday. So yeah, have a good day. Cheers.